To the replay, here we go. Oh, damn, that's tragic. Uh, okay, don't turn away from... I I'm trying to, like, look at this. I think uh, what you need to do... You don't need to flip in... You don't want to do... Wait, let me look at this guy's kickoff. Maybe he will show what I'm trying to explain. You want to flip... You want to flip twice. Nope. He just... Barely even does it. Anyway. You want to uh, flip once into the ball. Land at around, like, this area. I don't know. Uh, land at, like, this area. Depending on uh, if you're doing this kickoff, you'd land like here. Uh, maybe that's a bit too early, but anyway, you want to land like around this area. Uh, and then you're going to jump into the ball again and then flip in the middle of the ball. And when you do that, your recovery is going to be a lot better. Because you can see you're you're very slow on this. This is a very minor thing that I'm pointing out too, but your kickoff can be better. Can definitely be a lot better. And that also caused you to get beat to this boost. I think, yeah, again, you need to be, well, not again, but you need to be more careful here because there's, you can see there's going to be a shot. Like, you know, this guy's looping around into the ball. You can choose to go for this if you feel confident of going, but, um, you need to be playing a shot here for sure. Because just going back to that, like, while this guy's shooting, right? Keep that, he's shooting and look at what you're, you're doing. I don't even think you, you don't even have ball cam on yet. Oh, you do. But you took a very long time to turn it on. I don't even think you know he's shooting, but you should know. You should definitely know that he's shooting us. Oh, no way. Wait. <laughs> oh, brother. Dude, dude, okay, okay. Look, it's wide, it's wide open. Wide open. Don't freak out because you have zero boost. Because I, I can't even zoom out far enough. Nobody's around you. So who's gonna who is the only person that can save this shot? Who? It's you. <laughs> You're the imposter. But you don't want to be the imposter. Just take your time. I know you have zero boost. But if you just keep going until you have an angle and then take the shot, you're fine. Also, I'm pretty sure you had this if you just flipped the right way. But the way you flip just screwed you up. Oh, that was so close. Oh, <laughs> what are you doing? You can't, you can't go for that. Also, even if you want to go for this ball, um, like, okay, right here, this is, like, your teammate should have this, right? And you get caught off guard. But you should kind of be looking at his takeoff and be like, does he really have this? And just keep it in the back of your mind, you know? Like, just look at him. Sure, he's flying and stuff, but you got to look at, like, there's, like, this, when cars are flying, there's some sort of confidence to them. And if they, if you can see the car does not look confident, this, this for sure, the car does not look confident. It looks like he's flailing. You'd be like, uh, maybe he doesn't have it. And then play off that. But anyway, so when you see him in this corner, you know he's in this corner. You shouldn't be going towards the ball again. You should just grab this boost, this pad, and then play the net again and let your teammate go up. Because this is exactly what happens when you try to cut into the play when you're not supposed to be there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> See, but this is your fault, though. Because you slammed the shit out of your teammate, and now everybody's out of position. Everybody being you and your teammate. But a nice pull shot, yeah. Gotta be a little bit patient. Yeah, that's good. Go upfield now. Perfect. Squishy. Bang! Bang, 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 bang! Let's go. Sure, sure. Go on your teammate. I like that. Let's play it patiently. 
Good. Look at the patience by this man. I would just go back down and get this boost. Perfect. Keep waiting. So you have a chance to go over the bowl. Yeah, cut your teammate off. Fuck it. Uh, I say that in a good way. It's good to take this ball from your teammate, especially if you know you have the space to do it. Um, the only thing is, I would try to keep this ball closer if you can. Air dribble, hit it off the wall to yourself, anything like that. Or dribble, if you can get to it in time. Uh, you could you shouldn't be afraid to take this back and i think a lot of people have this habit of the ball only needs to go forward and can only go forward um so people always hit it to the side or forward but dude you can just roll it to your corner and get the big boost and then again you like freak out because you think this guy's here and then you end up just passing it mid instead there's no reason not to take that ball back to the corner. And you kind of had some panic there that just... Close. Uh, one thing I would say with your dribbles is when you are cutting the ball, don't stop. Like, you notice how you do like the stutter. Just watch your car. You cut it and then you stop completely. See how you slow down? So now you, you've cut it and went forward with the ball and then you stop. And then you have to use boost again to go forward so that's why you're like very slow on this dribble and i'll show it again you cut stop and then go forward again this time this time you didn't this time you actually kept your momentum going just watch the first cut look stop and then this one you just kept going right you didn't stop your momentum that time which is so much better on your dribble there you go He's at 324 points. Nice. Good job of driving at that slow. Sucks to get damage though. I would just go behind your teammate. Uh, that's fine. You were a little too close there. A uh, buddy! Buddy! You were you were you were eating his ass the whole time to go to the ball when the ball came to you, you didn't go. What's that about? What are you doing? Look how close you are to this guy. You like want the ball. You're, you're legit sniffing his ass the entire time. And the ball comes out right to you. And why are you leaving? You have full boost. Just drive, just drive forward. It's It really is that easy. You just have to drive forward. Why are you giving him the possession in the shot? What a save though. But never do that shit. Give him the free, free dribble, free shot, free bump. He gave it to them for free, and he still saved it. A beast. Oh, there you go. Such a good catch. Um. Oh, okay. I get it. I was going to say go off the ceiling, but I was like, okay, maybe that's too far. You know what? I'm not going to recommend going off the ceiling. Because if you're not confident in it, don't do it. But I would rotate back here if you're not going for this. Because if these two people are already lined up on the ball, ready to go, there's no need for you to go 10 minutes after them. But yeah, uh, if you rotated back, you probably would have saved it. Try to wait mid for a pass. He can go up for this, yeah. Yup, yup, yup. Yup. <laughs> Pain. You know what? I would have done the same thing. Still a good ball to go for, though. It's better to at least go for that angle rather than slamming it off the backboard. So. It's not in. Try to get pads on your way back here. Keep collecting, keep collecting. There you go. Not the best. Just keep in mind, if you, you're you not being efficient with this, this is good that you went for pads. 
But what you should be doing is, since the ball is floating like this, this is the perfect time to get pads, which I think you realize. But you only went for this one. Instead, what you should have done is just kept driving forward and collected this one, this one, this one, and then maybe this one. But you should have been back post. That way you would have collected... Actually, you know what, guys? Guys. Guys. Instead of going here for this one pad, you should have just kept driving forward and done this. And either rotated back this way or you would have uh, kept going this way. This one. There you go. See, because you go down this line, then you turn this way. Whereas you could have just kept going forward. And I'll point it out one more time here. Look, you see, you're already facing that way. So you could have just done that. Would have been much better. Get that pad, go back. Don't go, don't go, don't go, no, 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 no. He, he, dude, he, there's no way, there's no way he's not on this ball. Because they're, they're already... Nobody went for this ball, which means they're just ready for your next touch anyway. So just like that, you're already beat, and now you have to go back. But you rotating that way stall, uh, slows down your teammate. Oh, yeah, nice flick. Oh, sure, sure. I would just rip a shot, though, brother. He's giving... I mean, look at all the space. <laughs> Giovanni, thank you for the seven months, brother. Um... But yeah, I mean, look at all the space you have. And you can see even when the ball, like, if you just waited, if you just waited and then single jumped, I'm sure that ball just goes in. Oh, skip forward. Wait, what just happened? I actually just stopped paying attention for a sec. So right, you went for the bump, and then no, you should never turn for this. This is this is on you. For sure. Right, so that bump attempt, and then you end up rotating back. This guy misses. Oh my god, I have to turn. No, your teammate's still next to go anyway. You're the ones who's supposed to be rotating back. So when you cut like this, you're just gonna shit on everybody. <laughs> everybody being your team. Try to stay... Okay, you gotta be careful just because... I was gonna say try to stay mid, but you have to be careful if that guy's clearing it. You should you should be cutting here once you see your teammates in the corner. You rotate back. You watch your teammate. Is he back? Yeah, you think he should be going for this, but if he's not, you need to roll with it and then cut off the play that's right in front of you. Literally right in front of you. Still right in front of you, by the way. But you should be cutting that off. Before they take the shot. A chance. Open netter. Let's go. Okay. You left this ball for so long, bro. Like, why are you just leaving? Do you know how to half flip? Just half flip at this ball and stay close to it. That way you're not forcing yourself to dive at it. Once he's already on the ball again. You could have just hit your reverse key and drifted. He didn't even need to half flip. That's painful. Yeah, you're giving him... You're giving him so much space here for no reason. Why? Nobody's going to be on that ball besides you. And then you just let him go take it from you. Oh, that was close. Try to get the boost. You have to play defense here, though. Don't go. Don't. The reason I say that is because the dude is right on the ball still. 
Okay, dribble, maybe. Hey, you pass it though. This is your chance, brother. You got 40 boosts, or you had 40 boosts, you know? But if you just didn't boom it, 60, let's see. By the time you get to the ball, you got like 40. Yeah. If you actually dribbled it, you would have had 40 boosts and you would have had a 1v1 forever. But instead of taking your 1v1 opportunity, you pass it to him. And the thing is, is so, yeah, somebody said death perception. Even if this guy rushes at the ball full speed, that's what you want him to do. So let him do it. You want that guy, you want the Zyre guy to rush at you. Because if he does, then his net's wide open. You want him to 50 you and you want to get a good 50. So just let it happen. So that's why you would take the dribble anyway. But if you fall for a fake challenge here, um, then you just pass up the ball. Car coming towards my ball, Monka W. I know it's scary. But taking 50s on your side is not bad as long as it's like not right in front of your net. I mean, you have to pay attention to the angle you're taking, but... That was definitely your teammate's ball, by the way. But I'm assuming you did that because two seconds left, yeah. I mean, you can see why you did that now, right? You can see the tilt, right? They're in my half! Exactly. The other team's in my half! Ah, oh, freak out! Anyway, points was 620. So over takes a dub.